Just out on a little camping trip at the minute, uh, wild camping, stealth camping, whatever you want to call it. Stealth camping probably sounds cooler, but wild camping is more appropriate. Just a little shot of the woodland here, quite nice. Bit of a chilly night, but uh, my sleeping bag's pretty good and I put another jumper on, so I got a good night's sleep, only woke up once. Thought I'd uh, test out these new glow-in-the-dark tent pegs I've got. Um, ideally, I wouldn't be using them for uh, stealth camping or wild camping, so obviously I don't want to give myself away to other people, but I just wanted to test them out really, because I haven't used them before. Um, I mainly got them for using at festivals, like Latitude or whatever, I thought it would be quite cool having glow-in-the-dark tent pegs around the tent there. <laughs> also got um, some of these light-up ones for the front, which are actually pretty handy at night to um, point inwards. You just flick that bit down, and then twist that and they come on so if you have them kind of outwards pointing into the tent they give you a bit of light at night only cheap little things but still quite fun and handy to use it was like a pound no 99p for two of them. and last time i came out i um bought my two-man tent which is a lot smaller and lighter and easier to carry on the bike but it's just not as comfortable and, and this is just a better tent in general so even though it's uh, a bit clumsier to have carrying on the back of the bike I thought I'd bring this one along seems a shame not to use it and uh, it is nice having extra space it's a three-man one um, but I like room to stretch out I like my comfort so <laughs> it's nice going inside and being able to actually chill out in there you know sit up and stretch out whereas in the other one pretty much all you could do in there is sleep because it was a bit too small had a glow stick hanging up there which um, was <laughs> it's not the best glow stick I've ever had I've never had one glow so bright it really lit up the tent well so that was useful <coughs> got a tin of ravioli on the boil it's pretty much done it's only a ten minute to get that boiling Now I tend to always come out camping on my bike, I um, just like coming under my own steam, you know, not having a, a vehicle, not having something that needs fuel other than me, um, and I can pack pretty much everything I need on there, I have a pannier bag on the back which is in the tent at the minute, um, but a new addition to this I got, that I'll show you in a minute, um, I already have two lights on there, um, attached to a dynamo, which are handy because obviously I don't have to worry about them running out of batteries, but even though they uh, make me visible to other road users at night, they don't really light the way. They're not bright enough to, to light the road in front of me. So I got this little doodad off eBay. It's only in a pound from like China or somewhere, Hong Kong, whatever. Um, you attach it on there, it uh, screws on at the bottom there, as you can see, around the handlebar. And then just opens up like that and you can put a regular flashlight in there holds down pretty securely just friction really holding it on there's some like little clips there and uh, it also revolves around a bit if you need it to I thought for a pound that was actually a really good bargain um, and now it doesn't last I can just buy another one cheap enough and then you can use a regular flashlight to light your way and if your flashlights are slightly too thin to put in there what I tend to do is take old um, tire inner tubes that I keep and just wrap them around the handle of your flashlight and then uh, that thickens it up enough to hold in there securely and it just makes it more uh, comfortable to hold as well um, gives you more grip on your flashlight I haven't got it on this one because this one is thick enough but on one of my other ones I had to do that now another new toy I've got that I bought out with me is this um, Bota bottle or Bota bottle, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, um, which I got off of uh, Ally Express really cheap. Um, it's just a regular plastic bottle with a kind of nylon-y type uh, case around it that um, is, is water resistant. It's got like a plasticky uh, lining inside and then a strap that goes over your shoulder. Um, now I think Coleman in America do a series of bottles like this um, that might be a bit bigger. This holds about 800 millilitres, whereas uh, I think the Coleman ones hold a litre. 
um, that you can't get them in the UK, uh, unfortunately, but hopefully they will filter over here because I, I love bottles like this. It's uh, kind of a vintagey feel to them. I just imagine like frontiersmen or whatever using them. So I love having this out here. And uh, I wouldn't mind getting one with just a, a plain black cover that I could actually carry around town with me when I'm shopping or whatever, but uh, this looks a bit too tactical. Um, so I might try and get another one to, to dye it black. I'm not sure if this material would dye very well. And um, the only problem I have with it is that it has one of these um, tops, which is sort of a popper. I just, oh, damn it, it's on autofocus, which it doesn't actually do. Manual focus, yeah, you can see the top is one of these ones that pops up like that to drink out of and then push down and I hate using them because one I don't want to be constantly pouring the top there putting germs on it two I don't want to have to keep grabbing it with my teeth to pull up because once again that's the sort of getting germs into it and that I much prefer just unscrew it and drink out of which I can still do with that but uh, I'd rather have a top which had a lid that just flicks up and drink out of um, so that's my only minor gripe with it. Also, you have to make sure the lid is on very tight, otherwise it does leak a bit. Um, but that might just be my one. I don't know if they're all like that. Um, but to be fair, it was only sort of seven pounds, so you can't grumble too much. Um, it's by a company called OutD, which uh, I haven't been able to find out much about. It's an Asian company. Their website's all in Asian, so I couldn't read any of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, just a simple thing, but it's uh, something I really love at the minute. I'm just starting to uh, pack my stuff away, ready to go home. But uh, I thought I'd show you this. Um, I did show it in my last camping video, but for some reason it was fine playing on my computer, but as soon as I uploaded it to YouTube, it was fuzzy as hell and pretty much unwatchable, which um, really frustrated me. But anyway, what I like to do when I come out here, because I get paranoid about someone coming in the night and stealing my bike. I even dreamed about it happening last night. Um, is set up a, like a rape alarm basically, tie it round the wheel there and then have it on the ground held by some sticks like so, so that if it gets pulled on, hopefully that comes out. Right. So I had to drop the camera there but I didn't want to keep that squeaking on um, and that will hopefully wake me up and alert me that someone's trying to have it away on my bike.